guys and welcome to a new video and today I will be giving you guys an easy strategy on how to play South Africa. Enjoy the video! So for the first part you want to watch pretty carefully because these first few minutes of the game you're going to have to speed run. So first of all right off the bat you want to make 4 electronic factories and since you are already making 15 gold and 4 copper just buy 4 copper. But get ready to also make molten steel factories just by getting 0.2 titanium since you are already making the iron and tungsten. So this will most likely happen when you get molten steel factories. Split your troops into 10 to 12 groups and use troop spam to immediately take Espertini and Lesotho. So when you get your materials, make 16 to 20 towns on the 4 square cities you have in the north and declare on Botswana and Namibia and use tank spam to take the two cities. Start to train your army for fire specialization. Tanks are taking the two countries. Justify conquest on Mozambique and Zimbabwe. When you are done justifying, declare on Zimbabwe, but don't clear on Mozambique just yet just because we want to make our form of it. upgrade your political technology so you can get as good stability since doing this is quite stability destroying. When you have enough stability, change your ideology to socialism and later to communism. What you do now is you want to justify and declare on Zambia and Malawi. While you have done that, also start justifying on Tanzania and Democratic Republic. countries and try to create as much tanks as possible. If your manpower hits zero, that will be normal and it will go up pretty soon. At this point you want to have about 5,000 to 75,000 tanks. Important thing to make fertilizer factories at this point so we can make civilian factories so we can make tons of money. What you want to do is you want to justify and declare on Malaysia and Indonesia, giving us more max manpower and some Asian bases. Since we are planning to take India and countries like Thailand, Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia and Burma. I didn't take them in this game since they were players, but besides that start to justify conquests on India. Make sure you have lots of tanks. Cool, now we have justified on India. If India is a player though, do the other route by taking more North Africa and focusing on countries like Thailand. But if India isn't a player, just leave the country and destroy their troops. It's gonna help you a lot if you're new.
after you've done that, declare on India and go as you wish. Once you have taken India, you'll have roughly over 5 million manpower, and if you want to carry on, go freely. If you didn't take Northern Africa, do that and your game plan's done. If you guys did enjoy this video, subscribe and watch more videos. If you guys want to unsubscribe, it's free, but I need them.